Hello, Dr. Joe here of the 2020forum.com. So today's presentation is about zinc and our immune system. Does zinc help our immune system to perform optimally? That's the question we are going to be answering in this presentation. Uh, this is video number three of the immune support video series. And uh, let's dive straight in. So uh, does zinc provide immune support for our body? Well, the answer appears to be yes, and this is based on research evidence. I'm gonna be looking at the uh, research evidence shortly. Um, it's a little bit geeky in parts, but I'm gonna try and simplify it. So uh, research tells us that uh, zinc can prevent viral infections from taking hold, and that if we supplement with zinc, uh, this will result in reduced incidence of infection, uh, and also, if we supplement with zinc, we reduce uh, the generation of inflammatory markers in our body. So, how does zinc uh, prevent viral infections from taking hold? So, we're going to be looking at a study shortly, study number one. And uh, here it is. Uh, this study was published in PLOS Pathogens uh, Journal and uh, is titled zinc inhibits uh, coronavirus not the current uh, virus that is uh, causing the pandemic right now and there uh, is another type of coronavirus and the uh, arterivirus rna polymerase uh, activity in vitro and uh, zinc ionophores block the replication of these viruses in cell culture so uh, we've got this research telling us that uh, zinc actually does block the replication of uh, these uh, viruses in culture so how does uh, zinc actually do this? Let's look at this uh, no expense <laughs> spared graphics that I prepared for you here. Uh, so you need two things to be in place for uh, an infection to take place. So of course you've got to have the virus with the RNA, uh, which is its genome inside uh, the virus there. And then you've got to have the human cell and that's the nucleus of the human cell. Uh, of course the nucleus contains our genome. So you've got a virus, plus the human cells. So that's step one. I've broken it down into four steps uh, for us to digest this easily. So, so that's step one. So in step two, uh, you've got uh, the uh, virus attaching itself to the human cell. So uh, the virus through uh, its spikes uh, attaches itself to uh, the host cell, which is a human cell. So that's step two. So you've got this coming together in step two. And then in step three, uh, what then happens is that uh, the virus is uh, uh, the virus will shed its outer shell. Okay, it sheds its outer shell, the, the outer coat. It sheds that and then deposits uh, its uh, RNA, which is its genome, inside the human cell. So you've got a viral RNA now inside the human cell. So that is step three. It's gained access into uh, the human cell. And then what happens in step four? Well, the virus is very smart. Uh, it uses the machinery of the host uh, to induce uh, replication of itself. So, you know, it causes, uh, it makes several copies of itself uh, within the human uh, host cell. So what we've got here is virus replicates inside the human cell. So whereas in step three, all you had was just one copy of the virus. Uh, now in step four, you've got several copies of the virus in there, okay? And uh, this is what happens in every cell that the virus actually attacks. And this is how we become really ill because you've got several copies of the virus inside our body. And uh, that's how we become really unwell uh, when we've got flu or when we've got, uh, you know, the, the coronavirus. So, um, looking at these graphics now, how does zinc help us then? So, let's look at that. So, what does zinc do? Well, what zinc does is that, uh, you know, it stops the progression from step three to step four. So, zinc stops the viral replication. So, whereas, you know, in step three, you got one copy, and then in step four, you got several copies of the virus, uh, zinc stops that from happening. So, this is one way that zinc actually helps us. Uh, this is one way that zinc protects us, uh, protects our, our immune system, or gives our immune system a, a bit of bolstering. So, we now that we know that, how does zinc uh, do that, by the way? Well, the way it does that is by inhibiting the enzyme that is responsible for the viral replication 
okay so that is one that is how zinc uh, performs its duties so that's one study let's look at another study uh, that might give us an insight as to how zinc helps our immune system so study number two and the premise of uh, study number two is based on the fact that uh, zinc is an effective anti-inflammatory and antioxidant agent and uh, they try to prove this with a randomized control trial and uh, here it is uh, this uh, one was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition and it's titled uh, Zinc Supplementation Decreases Incidence of Infections in the Elderly uh, The Effect of Zinc on Generation of Cytokines and Oxidative Stress uh, That's the title and uh, what they actually did in this study was uh, they got these elderly uh, subjects and they divided them into two arms so uh, one arm they were given zinc supplementation and in the, in the other arm they were given placebo which is basically sugar pills and uh, they observed what happened to them over a 12 month period so that's good you know the study did take uh, a little bit a little bit of time uh, to complete so over a 12 month period they observed what happened to them using the uh, the predetermined outcome measures and uh, what they found was that um, uh, you know in the arm that had the zinc supplementation there was reduced incidence of infection which was significant uh, over the 12 month period and they also uh, found that in the zinc supplemented group they had lower oxidative stress so uh, now we also know that zinc actually, uh, if we supplement with zinc, we reduce our potential to uh, develop infections and uh, we also lower our oxidative stress. Uh, of course, oxidative stress is something we want to avoid. So um, we, we know that now. So uh, what is also clear is that the human body needs zinc to activate the T lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes are the cells that are usually called into action uh, when we are attacked by a virus. So uh, they are essential soldiers uh, that we need. And uh, as you can see here, zinc actually activates uh, those uh, T lymphocytes to spring into action uh, when needed. So it's clear that um, we need uh, zinc to help our immune system. So how do you get zinc into your body? Well, there are two ways of doing that. Well, you can do that through supplementation and you can also do that through food. So I just going to talk about uh, zinc supplements. Now, uh, most zinc supplements come in either 40 or 50 milligram doses. Uh, that's the picture that I've uh, noticed. And um, Ideally, you should be looking to take about 20 to 40 milligrams of zinc a day uh, if you want to supplement. So, uh, and 40 milligrams will be the usual upper limit. I would want to go above 40 milligrams. Now, what happens if you cannot access the 40 milligram uh, zinc supplements? What if all you have is just the 50 milligram doses? So what should you do in that instance? Well, my advice would be, uh, you should not be taking it every day. You should limit uh, taking it to four times a week. That should do, that should level it off. And uh, because you don't want to consume too much zinc. Why is that? Well, the reason for that is that excess zinc supplementation does decrease copper absorption. So what you don't want is a situation where you solve one problem and then you create another. So that's not good, is it? So. Um, that's why I would say limit your intake to uh, 40 milligrams maximum a day that is that's it about supplementation so uh, the other way you can get zinc into your body is through eating the right foods so what about zinc foods well that will be the subject of my next video presentation so look out for that it should be out in a few days um, so um, if you enjoyed this video if you got even just a smidge of value from it uh, please uh, give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video um, and also please uh, if you've got any comments any questions leave them down below and uh, Also, please share this video with your friends family and colleagues and uh, Oh, by the way, if you haven't joined us yet at the 
2020forum.com, uh, you should join us. Uh, we're doing the, the forum is fairly new, but we're beginning to do wonderful things there. Uh, it's free to join, and when you do join, please. Uh, do participate in the conversation. Join in the conversation. Don't sign up and go back into your mansion and, uh, you know, just be a consumer. You should also participate because that is how you're going to get the best out of it. Please join us. Uh, it's free to sign up, like I said, and uh, we'll be pleased to have you there. Um, I think that's about it. Until next time. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe and also click on the notification bell because that is how you get notified of future videos that I make. So I think that's about it for this video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.